What's up everybody, I'm Brian Pyatt and welcome to the Refresh Network. This is an idea that was created by myself and my good friend and filmmaker, Bruce Myers. You know, we all have a story. We all have things that we have been through. We have life lessons that we've learned along the way. And the goal of this network is to talk to people that inspire us and bring some of their most important life lessons to the surface to share with all of you. If anything, it's a chance to provide you with a little boost of inspiration throughout your week. And as we grow, we're so excited to have you along for the journey. This week, we sat down with Minnesota Wild forward Jason Zucker to talk about the razor sharp focus that it takes to play in the National Hockey League. Thanks again so much for being a part of the Refresh Network and welcome to an outlet for authentic living. We know that it's a very physically demanding sport, but mentally, what does it take to play in the National Hockey League? There's a very, very small margin between guys that play in the NHL and guys that are just good hockey players. And I think a lot of that is mental. A lot of that is being able to mentally stay consistent throughout the year. And it's about limiting those bad games and those mental lapses that you're, you're going to have. The more you can limit them, the better off you're going to be. You know, seconds before you're walking out that tunnel to, to step onto the ice at the XL or wherever you're playing, is there anything that you're doing mentally to, to make sure that you're present, ready to go? For me, it's the national anthem. I am a very proud American. For the national anthem, I don't move a muscle. I stand there, I look at the flag, and, and to me, that's me honoring everybody that has served this country. And it's just a little thing that, in my opinion, I can do to show them that I, you know, show that same respect to them. And when the national anthem's over, it's like, okay, now it's game time. What's it like to be, be in a, playing in the NHL in these arenas that are filled with fans and just the energy that's going on in, in an arena like that? It's something that a lot of people ask, you know, can you hear the fans? Can you? It's like, no, I can't hear you, but I can hear it in general. That energy and that momentum can really shift, and I think the fans have a, have a lot to do with that. So when something during the course of a game happens that maybe doesn't go your way, something bad happens, what do you have to do to, to kind of mentally reset yourself and not let that affect the rest of the game? I would, I would imagine that's a hard thing to do. For me, one thing that I, I try to focus on is realize what the mistake was or what happened and acknowledge it learn how to fix it, and get rid of it. That just seems like a pretty cool way to live life, right? Like honoring and, and recognizing a yeah. mistake or something going on and then just kind of being able to move on from it. Does, is, is there a tran transition from off the ice? The biggest thing is, like I mentioned earlier, is having a balance of everything. It's having a stable family and, and a family that, of two girls, I might add, is, you know. <laughs> you get a lot of work on <laughs> yeah, <hands>. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's, um, you know, having that family at home is, is something that makes it easier at the rink because hockey is something that I have the privilege of playing for a living and, and playing a, a sport and having fun. And for me, you know, having that family aspect of it really creates that balance. What would you say the biggest life lesson that you've had to learn so far up until this point? Keeping an even keel all the time, keeping a level head. I really learned that when I turned pro, something's gonna happen all the time. It just That's just life, that's just the way it goes. And so if you can keep an even keel through that, keep a level head, never let yourself get too high or too low, and you know let it affect you to the point where you can't live your life the way you want to, I think you'll be fine. A big thanks to Jason for sitting down with us and be sure to follow the Refresh Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and look for brand new conversations with people that inspire us coming every single week. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.